Now let's calculate a one-way ANOVA in this SPSS. All right, so we have a new set of data right here, still involving the same notion, experimental drugs to reduce impulsivity. There's our dependent variable. But now, because it's one-way ANOVA, we have one factor and at least three levels. And here are our three levels of our independent variable, and that's our dependent variable. So we have a control group, placebo. We have a low dose of the drug, drug and a high dose of the drug right there. Okay, and they're coded accordingly. So the ones in this group are placebo, the ones in this got the low dose, and the ones here got the high dose. We're going to have to modify this data a little bit before we put it into SPSS, but you want to copy this into Excel to make your graphs. That's the first thing you got to do. And then we'll convert the data. I'll show you how to do that. Put it in SPSS. We're going to use the Analyze Compare Means function again, but this time we're going to select one-way ANOVA, put our variables in the proper boxes, there's a couple particulars we want to ask for. We want to ask for descriptive so that we can get our descriptive statistics. And we have to do something called the post hoc analysis. Post hoc analysis, you only do if the F statistic is significant. Uh, and what it does is it tells you which level has the greatest influence uh, in making the difference. Then I'll show you how to interpret the box of data. So let's go first into our SPSS printout. And we want to go to variable view. And let's enter the IV, okay? And let's code it. We're going to code it as zero floor placebo, one as the low dose of the drug, and two as the high dose of the drug. Okay, remember now, we have a 0, 1, and 2, so we're good. this is the modification we're going to have to do with our Excel data. I'll show you that in a minute. And that's okay. And of course, we need our dependent variable. Good. So we're labeled. Our data is ready to be entered. Now let's go to Excel. Here's our Excel data. Again, now we just want one column that is the independent variable with the three codes in it and one dependent variable column. So if this is the placebo and we coded it as zero, and this is the low dose of the drug that we coded as one, if we just put these zeros right here, we'll make them twos as the high dose of the drug, that should be the proper code for a single column for our independent variable. So I'm gonna get rid of this column and these are our data we're going to enter into SPSS. We go back to SPSS and we paste the data in. And there it is, zero, ones, and twos. We have the three codes for our independent variable. We have our dependent variable scores. Now let's do the analysis. Analyze, compare means, one-way ANOVA. All right, so independent variable is going to go under the factor group. We'll put it right in there. Impulsivity is the dependent variable. We want to choose descriptives. This way it'll give a printout of our means and standard deviations that we can match with Excel. And our postdoc. There are a lot of different options for postdocs. Generally, the good default is to use the two key. That's what we're going to use. And I think we're good to go. Let's hit OK. First thing we see is we have 10 sample size in each. Those are our means. They should match the calculations we did in Excel, our standard deviations. Here is our, excuse me one second. Uh, here is our F value right here, 26.196. It is highly significant. And there are two degrees of freedom. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we see the post hoc analysis. And you see what a post hoc does. So if we know there's a overall significance, we want to look at within the levels. So we compare the placebo to the low imp, it is significant. Placebo to the high, it is not. So the high dose of the drug was not significantly better than the control. Load it, and, and the problem with SPSS, it, it repeats some of these things. It's a bit tedious. That's what you have to live with, sorry. The low to the placebo, is significant, the low to the high is significant, and so on.
So really there were only three comparisons, low to high, placebo to low, and placebo to high to tell you if things are significant or not. That's how we do an analysis with one-way ANOVA using SPSS.